Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank 2. Going Commando! Also known as Locked and Loaded, depending on who you ask. After all, in the, uh, in the PAL regions they change the name. Presumably to avoid, uh, innuendo. Because, uh... I mean, let's say if Ratchet was going Commando, we can't actually tell, but, you know. I think at least we got these bolts. Let's hop on this guy. Where does he take us? Over back to the start. Okay. Now let's jump on you. These these creatures are quite useful as far as floating platforms go. They even warn you before they're about to submerge, which is nice of them. So let's jump on you. And then on you. And then we should be good. Let's make our way into the ruins proper. So, did you notice that we have strafe? I don't know if I pointed that out last video. We can also throw our wrench and then move without being locked into place. Makes the wrench quite powerful. I guess, once again, spanner, if you're in the power regions. And we can use our weapons, because why not? We need to get experience on them. Yeah, useful. There's quite a lot of enemies there. Some then little bit more of these little bug things. Excellent. Let's grab this ammunition and continue. Okay. Looks like there's some more platforming to be done. Sounds dangerous, eh? Let's make our way over. So we've got to go through this jaws of death. This guy's going to take us over to these jaws. And then we get helpfully led over here. Let's go down here and see what's waiting for us. Welcome. Uh, if everyone could take their seats, we can proceed with today's demonstration. First, I'll need a volunteer. Anyone? Excellent. Your name, sir? Ratchet. Hey! And there you have it. The Megacorp Tractor Beam in action. Let's give it up for our volunteer. Sir! How about taking advantage of our show special? We can buy this latest gadget, the tractor beam, for 1,000 bolts. We shall do so. Thank you, sir. You won't be disappointed. The tractor beam moves small and medium-sized objects which have glowing orange targets like these. Press circle to move those columns so you can scale the cliff. Let's make sure that it's on our quick select. We'll put the tractor beam here for now. We may have to move it around a bit. Unless so, yes, we can move these objects around. It's good to see that at least one of the Megacorp employees survived. First off though, we'll move up onto this side because here is the first bolt. I think it's a platinum bolt from memory. Behold, progress. Hmm, a platinum bolt, feels good. Okay, let's head our way back down. And then we'll move these objects back over to the right hand side over here. Okay. That should do it. Before we go though, we'll destroy these lamps. 14 bolts apiece. When you only have 500 bolts, it's actually a fairly significant amount of money. <laughs> so let's make our way up. Excellent. Okay. I think that's pretty much going to do it for this particular mission. We've got ourselves the tractor beam. A useful gadget. Let's now get down back to the ship. go to a new planet, you'll have to find new coordinates on this planet first. Hmm, indeed. We could have, if we chose, decided to go the other way, which would have given us coordinates, 
but then being forced to come back in order to get the tractor beam. So it's one of those things that you can really do things in any order you please. It's one of the things I've really loved about Ratchet and Clank. Um, just the freedom which it gives you to do things in the order you please. Feels good. The reason I'm coming back here, however, is to quickly grab the first skill point of the game. Fortunately, in this game, they've actually given you access to the skill points menu immediately. And you can just see what all the skill points are. Much more useful. We can immediately do the prehistoric rampage. Got him. Kill four birds. That's prehistoric rampage done. There are a number of skill points that are destroy or breakables on the level. But I'm going to wait on those until I get a specific item in the game. So we'll be doing a bit of backtracking later, but for now let's just keep going on the main story. To a new planet, you'll have to find new coordinates on this planet first. Thank you for that help desk woman. Okay, we can't afford the blitz gun, not even close. That's a shotgun style weapon. Let's just head downhill. See if we can save some of these hapless employees that are in trouble, eh? We'll get some experience on the Lancer. As you can see, it's a lot less auto aimy than the blaster is. It gives you a little bit, but it's not as much as preceding weapons. Just because the game requires a little bit more control out of the player. There we are. That guy is, unfortunately... As soon as you get over to him, he then sinks into the slime. It seems that when they disarm the perimeter defences, the swamp creatures of the land immediately took out the store. Which is a bit of a shame, because... Like, how quickly did those people die? Not, not very, uh... Didn't have much in the way of warriors, I guess. Because, yeah, they just instantly kill him. It's like, my goodness. You just hear the cries of the helpless, and you're like, Hell, oh, I'm a Mega Corp Commando, I'm coming to help! And it's like, nope, too bad. Maybe one of them survived. Guess we'll find out. Oh. Let's keep moving forward. There's more in the water, you can see them. Their eye stalks poking out. Let's grab this ammunition. Excellent. And keep pressing forward. Nice. Press triangle to interrupt messages. Pause and select options to disable them permanently. But why would we disable you? You're very useful. Okay, let's continue. The enemies are easily felt. As we continue to defeat more of them, the lily pads rise to the surface and allow us to progress. It sounds like there's another hapless civilian up ahead. What's happening to this one, I wonder? What I'm timely demise are we unable to prevent? Oh, that guy was being dragged by the tentacle. Turns out he was being dragged by tentacle monster. I think that this calls for the gravity. The gravity bomb here. We'll try not to get crushed by the, t the tentacles. That's uh, how not to shoot straight by Kilkakon. Alright, let's keep firing away. That was a pretty decent <laughs> splat. <laughs> pretty decent attempt. One more gravity bomb, useful. That should get it now. Got it, nice. And that gave me enough experience to fully heal, which is useful. It's almost like Castlevania, XP equals healing. It also unleashes a little explosion when you uh, get a full with max heal. 
Okay. A continue point, because there is an item just sitting there. Rather usefully. What name this item? The dynamo activates machinery. Press circle to use the dynamo to zap that activator. Apparently there's more hapless civilians around the place. So yes, the dynamo activates things for a limited time. That's pretty much its only mechanic. Ah oh yes, we now get corny announcement lines and music. Okay. What do we can to get through, but I don't think we're going to be saving any civilians if I'm honest. I think they're all pretty much doomed. We can enjoy the corny music though. Well, to keep that in mind. To center the camera, tap L1. Thank you for that. Time to whip out the gravity bomb, however. We've got nice experience on the gravity bomb. It's getting good work done. Excellent. All the enemies are defeated. We're back outside for a brief time before we'll re-enter the store in a few moments. Just going to check that the the dynamo is on the quick select. For now, I'll put it there. I might move it later. Getting some good money though towards the blitz gun. Don't know if there's anything down here. I don't think there is. All right, let's pull out the dynamo, shall we? There we are. Second attempt at that jump worked out. So far we're doing quite well. And yes, this is an example of an area where you got, there is a skill point for destroying everything in here, but frankly, it's going to take five times as long. Oh, it might be even more than five times if I do it here manually, as opposed to waiting until I get that item I was referring to. So I'll wait. Let's now do this section. It's a time section. As you can see, these little platforms move up towards you. However, by using strafe, it's not as rough as it might seem. The door closes on you if you take too long. Ratchet, come in. Are you there? Copy, Mr. Fizzwidget. Listen, I have some new inflammation on our experiment's wherewithal. The thief was indemnified at Megacorp's Maktar Resort. Also, the thugs have towed a moon-sized jamming array into Maktar Resort orbit. Should I take it out? A formulas! It's disconfrapulating our annual Galactic Gladiators broadcast. See for yourself. Ask yourself, are you man enough, hero enough, insane enough to step into the ring with two of the fiercest warriors in the galaxy? If you answered yes, you're a big, fat liar. But that's okay, because Megacorp is bringing Galactic Gladiators into your home for a special Mega View event. First, it's survival of the fittest in our bio competition. Be there as Chainblade, Chainblade, unleashes his fury on our gladiator guest contestants. Chainblade has gone undefeated in 500 straight matches. But if the bio division doesn't do it for you, our robotics division will. Taste the adrenaline as contestants face off against our four-armed bandit, the B2 Brawler, Brawler, Brawler. No living creature is a match for this machine. Watch six tons of carbonox alloy hunt for its prey. There's no consolation prize, cause this bad boy's programmed to show no mercy. So, what are you waiting for? Call now to bring Chainblade and the B2 Brawler into your living room. But put away the fine china. <laughs> the Galactic Gladiators, only on Mega View. Call your provider now. Chainblade, huh? I've got the coordinates. Ratchet out. Goes to show how commercialized this universe is. <laughs> Live death arenas? But of course. Thank you for shopping at Please again. Mr. Fizzwitcher didn't really seem to care that this whole place had been wrecked by the thief, but nonetheless, 
it has been. We can enter the ship and move on to the Magtar Resort, which we will do next video. Also, as a bit of a bonus, pay close attention to what Mr. Fizzwidget says, because half the time he tries to use a long word, it doesn't come out right and ends up being silly. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and see you next time right here at Conflux Games.